everybody, this is Katrina, aka Geek Unique Cosplay, here at MegaCon Orlando, Florida. This is um, Orlando's largest convention here on the biggest day. This is this is game time. This is prime time. There's thousands of people here. Um, little Birdie told me maybe at least 10,000 people here today, something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty big event. So we're here with uh, Athena Finger. For those who don't know. She's Bill Finger's granddaughter, who is actually the original creator of Batman. Not everybody knows that. Um, so why don't you kind of go into a little bit about your um, your your grandfather's background, um, kind of how how what the journey that you got here in terms of giving him uh, recognition and everything like that for his amazing work. All right. Well, unfortunately, Bill was uncredited for 76 years. Um, so back in the 30s. Uh, Bob and Bill worked together in Bob's studio and, and Bob Kane wanted to create a character in response to a Superman character and approached my grandfather with a sketch of this Batman thing that was in a red unitard with a little domino mask, blonde hair. Mm. And uh, my grandfather said, yeah, this isn't going to work. So um, he changed the whole look to what we have now with the cowl and the cape and the colors and everything. So, um, And Bill was a writer, so he wrote the original storylines and he came up with a lot of the characters. Like He came up with Catwoman and he helped create the Joker and Penguin, Riddler. Um, he wanted to have someone for Batman to talk to, so he came up with the Robin concept, and so he he really created the whole mythos. Um, you know, all the Bat motif, the Batmobile, all of that stuff came from Bill. Um, he had certain things that he would use as like a gimmick, like the oversized props, the large penny, the oversized typewriter, things like that, yeah. um, just to make it a little more grandioso and. Yeah. Um, so from there, he also he did other characters, not just the Batman. He was the co-creator for Green Lantern, the Alan Scott original from the 40s. I did not know that. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, he also came up with uh, another character called Wildcat, which is a little bit of a following. Um, he's done some actual crossovers with Batman. Um, nice. He wrote the first Kryptonite story for Superman. Oh, wow. He wrote for Timely, which is now Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, he wrote a couple sci-fi movies in the 60s. He wrote for TV, radio. He even nice. did, wrote for the army when he had no work and oh, wow. needed money to pay bills. Because yeah. um, unfortunately, he made no money off of Batman. Oh, he wow. was uncredited. Um, and you know, it, it fell upon us, the family, to really fight for him and, and get him his his credit. So um, in 2015, we finally made that happen, and now you see his name attached yeah. to everything, which is awesome. Yeah. And then and and now, um, you know, over the course of time, you're you know you're continuing his legacy, which which I think is awesome. A lot of people definitely would have I think given up along the way after you know after hearing those no's or, or getting you know getting the, that pushback. But that just goes to show you the more you persevere, the more you can get accomplished. So why don't you tell everybody at home what was that like? after you went through all that and finally getting him his recognition after those many years. I mean, it must have been kind of bittersweet because you know, it's, ex it's exciting for you and, and his remaining family members, but he just he wasn't able to experience that in his lifetime. Well, it's true. It's very sad. Um, you know, my father, before he passed away, was really trying to get Bill's name attached. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was very proud of what my grandfather did, his father. Yeah. Um, so it was really sad for neither one of them to be here to share this wonderful experience. I mean, it was hard. I, for many years, I didn't talk about Batman because I was told it was a dead issue. Don't ever try. It's going to mm -hmm. take, you know, millions of dollars to get it resolved. Mm -hmm. Um, so when Mark Tyler Nolman approached me about writing the book about Bill back in 07, um, there was this kind of, oh, there, people actually know who he is. I really didn't know that people knew who he was. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up in the culture, so I didn't know that, you know, there were historians that really knew mm -hmm. what Bill did and what he contributed, not just to Batman, but comics in general. Mm -hmm. um, so with that momentum and coming out for the 75th anniversary and meeting fans and starting to, you know, figure out the culture, because again, I didn't grow up in it. So um, I really saw that there was, you know, 
not just a few people, but there was a large group of people in the community who really wanted Bill to have the recognition and the credit. So I knew that time was running out and that I needed to pursue it do or die type of situation, mm. you know, but it needed to be resolved. Yeah. Um, not just for Bill. I mean, it, it, was, it fell upon me when I was 15 to, to take care of this problem. Mm. So, um, you know, I, I knew that I was taking a gamble and I'm glad I did. I had great people who were able to help me sort out the whole mess and, and come to a conclusion with DC Warner. And, and you know everybody wanting Bill to get the credit that he deserves. So right. it really timing and having you know people really you know kind of pushing for it to happen yeah. really helped get it yeah. resolved. So yeah, it's it's good it's good to see when fans actually work together yes. instead of against each other because in the age of the internet is it's just like sometimes it's so divided. Um, but I feel like in in general when it comes to Batman. It just it transcends cultures and barriers and you know walks of life everything it's it's the Batman symbol is one of the most recognized symbols in the world um, the second or third most recognized symbol in the in the entire world so that just goes to show you I mean no matter what language you, you speak you, you pretty much know that symbol um, and it's a you know a symbol of, of hope and that's definitely what you you brought to the fans um, for sure so why don't you also talk about you know your career you're also you're also an artist uh, a teacher you have a you're you're definitely very very busy traveling a lot everything else so yeah let's let's um, hear a little bit about what you have going on this year Sure. Um well, I'm here at MegaCon, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, my next event, my next big event, I'll be in San Diego. They give out a Bill Finger Award at the Eisner Awards every year. So S San Diego Comic Con. Yes, in yeah. San Diego yeah. Comic Con. Um, so I'll be there. I'll be presenting on the awards again. Um, they actually, for the 80th anniversary, they're having me do autographs and things like that. So it'll be a lot of fun being out there again. Um, I'll be at Dragon Con this year for the first time. I've heard that's really like the cost. <laughs> play Mecca, but you know, yeah. there's going to be a lot of Batmans and a lot of oh, other, yeah. you know, Batman villains and things, so oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to participating in that one. I know it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do some local ones. Um, I'll be at Space Coast. Um, I'm doing a free one in Leesburg on mm -hmm. the 2nd of June at the mall there. Um, I'm still working out some other ones that are showing interest in having me come. So I, I try to get to wherever they'll have me. <laughs> right. right. Um, and in the middle of that, I'm, I'm starting a new job at a middle school. I'm doing my own art, which yeah. I just recently got back into painting. So yeah. um, I've always been into painting and drawing mm -hmm. since I was a small child. So, um, you know, it's, it's yeah. just a lot of fun. I get to yeah. do a little of everything. Right. Right. I mean, who who wouldn't want to get paid to do what they love? Um, so I mean, that's that's really awesome. So again, out there, if you're if you're struggling, you're like, how how do I how do I get there? Just keep just keep on going. You know what I mean? Like, what what would be what would be your advice out there to to other artists or you know cosplayers or to anybody trying to launch themselves creatively um, right now who might be going to MegaCon for inspiration or just looking at this and saying like, you know, gee, like I. I, I, I want to be there one day. Um, well, if you're coming up with a new concept, you definitely want to protect yourself from the beginning. Um, that's a good. That's a very good point. Um, you want to make sure that you um, copyright your work, get it, whatever it is, get it patented, get it whatever. Yeah. Um, make sure you're, you're very careful about who you talk to about it because everybody's looking to steal from each other, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. Um, and really just go with your passion yeah. I mean if it's something that you really want to share with the world then make sure it gets out there but yeah. protect yourself in the process yeah you don't want someone else monopolizing on your idea or your invention or whatever it is because it happens um, it happens yeah. across the board it's not just in the comics or in the cosplay or, or in creativity it's it happens unfortunately in way too many places right right and I think all too often um, you know like creatives where you're just focused on your work so much you don't you don't necessarily think about that um, so that's a very good point that you that you make um, for for sure so um, anything else that you want to mention uh, to the fans before before we get going um, or 
uh, let them know kind of where to where to find you. How, how can they they follow you and all your awesome adventures across the country? You, know, you name like at least three or four places you're going in the in the next couple of months. Like the summer is going to be really busy for you. But yeah, where can they where can they uh, find you to follow you? Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Twitter, so you can find me at any of those. Just put in my name. I don't have a very common name, so <laughs> I should only be the only one popping up. So if you uh, want to follow me there, I'm always posting about my adventures, new art pieces. Yeah. If they're interested in a commission piece, they can contact me through one of those platforms. Um, or if they just want to talk Batman and help celebrate 80th year, feel free to reach out. Right? Um, yeah, so make sure if you're not a, if you if you're not a MegaCon, write her, get a get a commission, um, you know, get some support local artists, get art from lo from local artists, support local artists. No need to get art on an assembly line, get something with some life to it, get something personally made for you, um, and you won't be disappointed. So again, this is uh, Katrina, aka Geeky Need Cosplay here with Athena Finger at MegaCon Orlando. We'll see you soon, thank you.